Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Being the newest chipset available for Ryzen, well, Ryzen 3000 series and 5000 series to be more precise, the B550 is a mid-tier chipset for AMD Ryzen processors, giving you bags of features like ARGB lighting, PCIe Gen 4, and enough USB slots for days. ASRock's B550 Extreme 4 is one of their mid-tier B550 motherboards and has just about everything an enthusiast gamer would be looking for, except Wi-Fi. Although the B550 Extreme 4 is most part a dark theme board with plenty of black and blue and matte features, the silver metal and plastic highlights with ARGB branding provides an aggressive looking contrast mostly seen in high-end motherboards. I personally love the detail on the heatsink, but I feel the camera can't quite do it justice because up close and personal, the Extreme 4 is incredible. Unlike other motherboards, ASRock has thought out carefully where to put their ARGB lighting on the Extreme 4, where it can't be obstructed by a chunky graphics card or a gigantic air cooler. One area being in the top left of the motherboard on the rear I.O. housing and the VRM heatsink array, the other is of course on the motherboard's chipset heatsink on the lower right of the motherboard, which is big enough to be seen even through the biggest of GPUs. Customizing the lighting with the polychrome RGB software is simple to use and only two screens to manage and easy to navigate. Key features on the Extreme 4 consist of one Hyper M.2 slot using PCIe 4.0 where the other M.2 slot is PCIe 3.0x2 and SATA 3 compliant. The power delivery is a 14 phase design and the DDR4 memory slot extends up to 4733 plus overclocked. The Extreme 4 has a total of 7 fan headers, onboard power and reset buttons, LED error indicator, right angle SATA ports and front USB Type-C support all of which aren't normally found on cheaper motherboards. USB connectivity on the rear I.O. supports 2 times USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, 4 USB 2.0 ports, 1 USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, 1 times USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C ports with a legacy PS2 mouse and keyboard port, although not to everybody's taste, but it's surely enough for me, and 4 times USB 2.0 ports, USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, times 2 Type A and 1 Type C for the front panel should you choose to use them. The B550 chipset supports 3000 series CPUs and APUs and 5000 series CPUs only equipped with Dragon 2.5GB LAN and has the handy M.2 Wi-Fi slot if you choose to use it, equipped with 7.1 channel HD audio which is supplied via the Realtek ALC12020 audio and having a pre-mounted I.O. shield makes a life a lot easier when building and finishes off the board nicely. Overclocking the Ryzen 5 3600 on the Extreme 4 is easy, although not really worth it with a 3600 I feel, as the CPU itself was quite happily boosting to 4.191 GHz by itself. However, I could only get the RAM to 3933 MHz without adjusting the timings etc, which is fantastic for a quick and dirty overclock. So if you'd like to see a more in-depth review of this motherboard, you may want to check out reviews done by maybe Games Nexus or Tech yes City, but from your average consumer, here are my thoughts. The ASRock B550 Extreme 4 is extreme. It's well built, feature packed, looks the part, and has and does everything you want right out of the box. However, I do kind of see the value side of the B550 Steel Legend, as it's cheaper, and the only difference between the two is the surface mounted power and reset buttons and aesthetics. So overall, it's a solid mid-tier board and worth every single penny. So if you'd like to see this included in my new gaming PC build, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you'll see exactly when the video drops. Well, if you liked this video, hit like. If you loved it, subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next one.